Hey YouTube, it's Daisy, the hostess with the mostest, and as promised, I'm back today to do the review of the HP Omen gaming laptop. As you uh, recall in my unboxing, if you watch the video, um, I have purchased two of these. The 15.6 with the 1050 Ti graphics card and this one, the 17.3 inch display with the 1060 graphics card. As you can see, I decided to keep the bigger display, the better graphics card, and frankly, a better price buying it directly from HP. So, without further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's go to this review. Okay guys, so here's my brand new HP Omen gaming laptop. And I've been using it consistently for just about, I don't know, over two weeks. Like I said in my intro, I was a little leery about sending back the 15.6 uh, because the display, you know, that was a lighter laptop and, you know, this thing at 17.3 is heavy. But, you know, I got the better specs and the better graphics card for the price. I ended up paying... Uh, $1,200 for this one directly from HP. So I think I did better than the HSN, which is I think was coming in at like almost $1,300 for that 1050 Ti. So, nah, you know, I sent it back, kept the bigger one. So let me go through some of the specs and then we'll just look at the overall performance and all of that good stuff, okay? Um, this one has the 17.3 FHD, the Full HD IPS display, 1920 by 1080 with the G-Sync. So this has the G-Sync. Um, inside it's got the Intel i7 77HQ processor, GeForce GTX the 1060 NVIDIA graphics card, 16 gigs of RAM, 1TB 7200 RPM SATA drive, and a 512 M.2 SSD drive. So I think I'm basically covered as far as storage. Um, it's got the HD webcam with the dual mic that's up here. Full-size island backlit keyboard, which, by the way, I love. Uh, you know, I didn't want one of those chiclet type, you know, keyboards. I wanted a full-size keyboard with the numpad, you know, and all of that good stuff. You know, I hope you're feeling me. Uh, so that's what I got here. It's got the 6-cell, 95.8-watt lithium battery. Now, let me show you this. Hopefully, you can see it, guys. Uh, here she is here, and yes, she is heavy and humongous, so yeah, but you know, I'm, you know, I'm getting about four to five hours, uh, you know, and that's just watching like regular YouTube, you know, editing some video, stuff like that. I tend to keep mine plugged in. Uh, this is my bedroom where I told you guys I'd be putting it, not my Daisy's World Studios with the backdrop and all of that good stuff where I shoot my intros. But, uh, yeah, this baby is right here in my bedroom, right across from my Lenovo desktop, and right in front of my Sony flat screen TV, so when the Yankees are on, I'm covered. Okay, so back to the specs. Bang & Olsen speakers, Windows 10, the home version, and then your standard, you know, bloatware. You get the McAfee, you know, security uh, software, um, and I got rid of that McAfee's. I'm an AVG girl, always been. And uh, so I put my AVG Pro on this. And then it's got the Office Trial and some of that HP software that you get. And some of it looks pretty good, some of it isn't. So I'll get rid of it, you know, as soon as I get a chance just to get rid of a lot of the bloatware. Okay, so now let me close this up a minute and let me show you some of these ports, okay? So hold on. All right, now here, before we get to the ports, this thing here is that full uh, carbon fiber shell. And it feels really nice. I mean, I know it's supposed to be, you know, plasticky. But let me tell you, HP did a good job. This thing feels great. Great to the touch. I love it. It's very sturdy. Let me tell you, this is not a Chinsky laptop. Not by far. And this thing is heavy duty and solid. But let me get over to the port selection, right? So let me go on this side. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. Hope you can see me. I'm right over here. Okay, so on the right side, hope you can see these ports here. We have a security. You have your security uh, jack thing here, right? The security port. You've got a vent here. You also have one USB port. And I have my little Logitech thing for my mouse, so that's in there now. You've got a headphone jack and a microphone jack. So that's the right side. On the left side, right, let me see if I can see this, hold on, you have the, I just want you guys to make sure that you guys got a good look, you've got full size SD card, right, then you have that, okay, wait a minute guys, let me just drop it down for a second because I don't want it to fall, okay, then you have the mini, hope you can see it, the mini dual mode display port, you get an additional two USB ports, the HDMI port, which you get one of, one RJ45 jack port, the power connector, and the AC adapter and battery light. So that's what you get over here on the left side, right? And there's no vents over here. Okay, so let's turn it around. Hope you can see that. Okay, so on the back you're getting some more air vents. You get these two here, and then these here towards the back. You get that little Omen, uh, let me see if you can see that that little Omen logo, I thought that was cute. And you also get these really nice brush, like metal hinges. This makes the display, when you open it and close it, feels great, really sturdy. You know, HP did, did a good job with this uh, gaming laptop. And again, like I said, I'm not a gamer. I bought this strictly for video, re uh, uh, video rendering. I bought it for my jewelry photography. Uh, everything but gaming so uh, I just wanted you know a real good uh, gaming machine that had a lot of the specs that I need to just cover all of my video editing and stuff like that I mean it could be overkill but this is what I researched so this is what I got okay so back to the back uh, you also get the security door here so if you guys are interested in opening this thing up checking out what's in there you know, on my channel, I don't do that. I'm not opening stuff up and showing you a fan and all of that good stuff. I researched this tablet for about six months. I'm going to leave the links in the description below so you guys can visit the same channels and the same YouTube gurus that steered me in the right direction. Um, it was between this uh, HP Omen. I also checked out the Asus ROG and the Dell Alienware. And this is what I came... You know, this is my choice. I thought that was okay for me. But anyway, you also get a another speaker grill down here towards the front, okay? So all together, this thing has one, two, three, four, five vents, okay? So now let's turn it around, right? And I think another thing that was nifty is that nice uh, HP, the little, that little uh, Omen logo. This, this is pretty cool. And not to mention that, you know what? With this gaming laptop, even though I'm not a gamer, uh, my nephews are. And when they found out that I had this puppy in my house, they've been coming over for dinner for the past two weeks. Oh, Titi, can we play with it? Can we do this? Uh, no, get your own. But anyway, that's another story. So let me just open her up again so you guys can see. Now, this thing has a pretty beautiful, you know, nifty display. I hope you guys can really see it it's a, to appreciate it because I've got the... You know, I got my lights on it and all of that stuff, but I almost went with the 4K screen. You know, the gurus are on YouTube say if you got a chance to pick up a 4K, go ahead and, you know, do a 4K screen. You know, it was only about $100, $150 more. And then when I thought about it, but by the time I called HP, they were already starting to put this one together. So I go, ah, let me just see what this is and if I have to send it back for the 4K, but... I'm here to report that just the 1080, this regular screen with the G-Sync is all you're going to need. You know, I don't understand how much sharper, you know, people need stuff, but I wear glasses and it looks okay to me, right? Okay, so let me just get in here. Let me log in a little bit. So I want to show you some stuff here. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. So there we are. Hope everybody can see it so you can appreciate that beautiful screen. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, you know, I'm very happy with it. Pretty nice, pretty nice laptop. As I said, I'm not a gamer, right? And, uh, you know, one of the things that I was a little concerned about when I bought it was 
since I'm coming from my Lenovo desktop, right, with four gigs of RAM, an Intel CPU, and, you know, I wanted something faster to, you know, I edited off Shotcut, and I really needed something that was going to, you know, help me render video, or, you know, faster, without crashing, without the lag. You know, the Lenovo did okay with four gigs. Let me tell you, that thing held up. But I just needed more speed, you know, and especially with my jewelry business. I'm always taking pictures. And that thing was, you know, getting slower than molasses in January. But then again, it did do the job, but slower. So anyway, getting back to this thing. Um, everything installed very quickly, all the OS. The OS, thankfully, was already on here, uh, obviously. I didn't know what drive HP would put the OS. I, I read in YouTube that usually the OS should go, the operating system should go on the SSD drive, and then your working files and everything else on the hard drive, you know, the 1TB drive. Uh, but anyway... I was happy to know that when this thing came, it was exactly like that. Uh, HP put the OS onto the SSD and then uh, and most of some smaller programs and then everything else I've been putting on the big 1TB hard drive. Um, and including Shotcut. I actually installed Shotcut and it came and installed in nanoseconds, no lie. Where it took minutes on my Lenovo. I just went to the shortcut site, downloaded it, boom, it was done. So I was very, you know, pleasantly surprised and happy, like I could have done a cartwheel happy about that. So let's get through some more specs here. Let me show you the HD uh, camera, right? Now, the, the webcam isn't the greatest. You know, it's one of those 720p's. I'm not a real webcam person, except when I want to bother daughter number five who just went off to college, you know, just to check up on her um, and, you know, blow her day. Um, but anyway, let me just show you the camera so you can see it. Oops. Hold on. There I go. Ooh, hope you can see that. Anyway, so this is my uh, bedroom. And back over here, that's my Lenovo. That's usually where I do most of my stuff. Uh, this is my setup for my jewelry and all that good stuff. And anyway, just wanted to show you what more or less this thing looks like. But like I said, ah, it's not bad, but if you need one, it's there. Okay, so let's close that down. Let me go into here. And I wanted to show you guys the HP site because that was one of the things that was very confusing about this Omen. They had like tons of versions on this, okay? Let me just see if I can see it. Okay, here you go. Now, I'm on the HP site. Hope everybody can see that. And these are the different... I mean, they make like, like 50 versions of this thing. There was a 2015 version, a 2016 version, a 2017 version. I mean, I finally called HP just to figure out which one, you know. And they actually built this one for me from just what I told them that I needed it for, which I thought was pretty cool. But the one that I got is this one. It's called the 17T Gaming Best Value Laptop, okay? And I didn't pay this $15.29.9. I had a coupon, I think they took like $300 off, and this one has basically my same specs except that uh, for $15.29, this one has 2TB hard drive and 128 SSD. And I got this one with 1TB hard drive and 512, I wanted a bigger SSD. So maybe that's why, I mean, you know. But anyway, so this, I just want to show you that, you know, you can get a little confused. This thing comes in a whole bunch of models and you know, different form factors. Like if we open up this one here, I didn't want to get the one that has like those dual uh, speakers. You know, this one really looks gamey. And I wanted something that looked the least gamey out of the bunch. And so I'm very happy that it was this one. And as far as the sound quality goes with the speakers, those Bang & Olsons, uh, well, what can I say? They're not bad. They're pretty good. Uh, let me see if I can get you something to check out here on YouTube. I always have my page open to the YouTube gurus. This is where I go. Uh, like I said, on my channel, you don't get none of this. I'm opening this thing up and doing an autopsy type of stuff on the tech. I'm going to tell you what the specs are. I'm going to tell you if I like what it's doing for what my needs are and hopefully recommend it uh, for what I think your needs are. If you want to go and have somebody break this thing apart, I'll leave the links in the description below. Like I always do, you guys can visit the people that break this thing apart. Um, and, you know, let them steer you in the right direction. I'll give you my recommendation at the end. But I uh, just want you to hear some of these speakers. Let me see what I got here. Um, 
Let me see. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's look at the Dell. As a matter of fact, I ordered the Dell. Because obviously I'm not traveling with this one. This thing is humongous. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's open up Dell big. It's premium ultra portable XPS 13 toward the end of 2017, but that's not stopping the PC maker from overhauling it for 2018. Meet the new new XPS 13. Hope you guys can see it. The display is really nice. I mean, I sort of don't like a real shiny display. I sort of like a matty display because glare just bothers me. You know, I don't want to state my age, but I'm wearing glasses and I don't like glare. Uh, but, you know, this display is pretty nice, I gotta say. Now, I know that the G-Sync is made more for the gamers. And like I said, I'm not a gamer, but my nephew sure want to get a hold of it, of this and play. But, uh, you know, I think that the sound quality is pretty good. Let me bring it up a little bit more so you can see. Or you can hear. Uh, let me see what else I got. And let's put some music on. Uh, All right, let's put anything on. I don't know. Can we? Can, can I put an Ed Sheeran and that, you know, without having the musical rights to to play it? Because I haven't really put any uh any music on here. But I just want to show you guys, you know. What's up, visionaries? Welcome to 2023 Vision, and we recently shot a video in which we show you how we shoot our B-roll. And even though we showed you how we shoot it and an example of the b-roll in an actual video i realized that some of y'all might want to know the thought process and what we're going through when we actually place the b-roll in the video in the editing stage of things so today okay so you guys can hear the sound and shout out to these kids these guys are good 2023 vision 2 i love their videos anyway so as far as uh you know the HD, the webcam, the, the, the speakers, all of that good stuff is nice and working properly. I love the backlit keyboard, so you could always, you know, turn her off, turn her on. See that? So sometimes at night if I'm in my bedroom and I, you know, I'm working on it, all I got to do is put it back on and there she goes. So this is nice and the inside feels really nice and smooth. I love it. You know, very comfortable for the hands, all of that good stuff. I have her on my Nobel Bird fan. I did buy a fan for it. I'm going to do a review of, of this. This is very nice. A nice, quiet fan. I'm not a gamer, but I'm told that when you're video editing or rendering, that, you know, the fan starts to, you know, light up and heat up and all of this stuff. And you do want to keep it cool. So I bought a fan for it just in case. Truth be told, I haven't had to use it. This stuff, this, this computer has been very quiet. I hardly hear the fans go on even when I was rendering video. So, you know, what can I say? It's so far doing the job. I'm basically giving it a daisies, two thumbs up. And this laptop is what they say on YouTube, a beast. I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, to, uh, happy that I spent the $1,200. But again, the main thing that I bought this for, right? Because like I said, I'm not a gamer, right? I'm not using this for games, just strictly to edit video. And, you know, my jewelry and my pictures, right? But the performance is pretty good. But then again, I am coming from an old Toshiba satellite and my Lenovo desktop. So, you know, these specs on this Omen, so far, so good. Um, like I said, I love the HD display. Uh, the color gamut is okay. There's a video. I'm going to leave the links that the, they show you how to tweak it a little bit to your liking. But eh, I didn't really have to do anything out the box. I thought that the colors were pretty accurate. And that's what's working for me. And in my book, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Right? So, basically speaking, it's pretty good. And like I said, I'm using it for video editing. Shotcut Editor is my editor of choice. And... I downloaded Shotcut on this thing. It took all the two seconds, no lie. I, I couldn't believe how fast this Shotcut downloaded. And let me just open up something here so I can show you guys what I mean. Where are you? Where's my mouse? Just want to show you the video editor so you guys can, uh, can see it. I think I had it open yesterday. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hold on. Where are you, Shotcut? Well, let me just put it in there because I really haven't made the shortcut for it yet. I just wanted to show you guys how great uh, 
how fast Jack Cut opens up before I used to have trouble just bringing stuff from here to here and then to the timeline. This stuff is butter. So if you're worried about if the HP Omen, if you're not a gamer and you just want something strictly to edit video, I'm here to tell you, you're not going to go wrong with this HP Omen. Um, but let me just show you. I'm going to open up a file. Uh, let's see what this one is. Oh, this is a video that I am, uh, I'm still working on this project with my sister. Uh, me and my sister went up to Pennsylvania and I'm doing one of those road trip types of uh, videos. But uh, let me just bring it over so you can see. And, uh, you know, she's just fantastic. I mean, what can I tell you? Oh, hold on. I don't have my playlist open. Hold on. Let me get the playlist. And you see how I drop it right, right down there and it works, truth be told, like a charm. Very, very good. And, you know, the speed, I can basically, you know, shorten clips. I mean, it's just great. I haven't had any issues. I did three videos this past week. And all of them no more than between 15 to 17 minutes. And I rendered and had those videos exported on this laptop in 22 minutes. Okay, for a 17 minute video. That same video on my Lenovo used to take me 50 minutes to render and get it all ready to upload. So, 17, uh, 22 minutes versus 50 minutes, I think that I'll be doing my rendering and video editing on this baby. But like I said, she's just, she's just fantastic. I mean, I, I, I really, really am digging it. Um, I'm saying to everybody, if, if you're not only into gaming, like I said, I'm not a gamer, but I'm just using it for video editing and stuff like that. I think that you guys will find this uh, laptop to be pretty good. And uh, I'm hoping that it's going to last me for, you know, quite a while. Since I've got all of these top of the line specs and everything in there. Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to last me uh, a pretty good long time. You know, until I can afford to buy, you know, the next best greatest thing. Like I said, I did order a Dell XPS 13. I'm waiting for that to be delivered because let's face it guys. I don't see myself going Too far dragging this thing along. Um, this is actually just gonna stay here in my bedroom and uh, I'm gonna be heading down to Miami with my sister and a couple of my friends uh, Towards the end of the month and I plan to take you know like Peter McKinnon would say bring along your camera and take some b-roll So I plan to do some Miami Beach b-roll, you know, and I'm, I'm hoping that this Laptop is gonna help me do better videos render better give you guys better content you know, and you know, for the things that I like to do with it. So, like I said, don't be shy of the HP Omen gaming laptop. So far, it's pretty darn snifty. Uh, I'm happy with it. And like I said, I'm going to leave all the links in the description down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next review. Ciao!